So, I'm starting to take notes during my episodes. So first, Joker or Penguin and Catwoman seem to be making some form of alliance to go against the Batman. I'm watching this in the middle of the night, so I might not be able to watch as much. Um, so. I, uh, will probably get to watch it much less. Oh, wait. Looks like Batman and this weird, this, this girl, this cop girl from season one are working together. That's interesting. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a much longer episode because I'm taking notes during it. So it's not just that I like the episode, it's tons of stuff during the episode as well. So he's analyzing hairs. And so, yeah. <laughs> one of the relics that they're taking is uh, one of them is a cat, one of them is a penguin. So now you, of course... So, of course, they team up. <laughs> Just like with Batman Returns, Penguin seems to really like Catwoman and be like, whoa, like, pervertedly. Penguin's goons do not, Penguin's goons do not like Catwoman. Penguin's planning, Catwoman is planning to double-cross Penguin. Penguin double-crossed Catwoman. <laughs> Batman and Catwoman's head, uh, handcuffs are gonna explode. Is Catwoman really about to drive the Batmobile? <laughs> the line, he's a little, so he's a little strange. He dresses like a cat or like a bat. It's really funny to me, at least. So Batman, so Batman just happens to have two grappling hooks. Yep, he was waiting for a Robin, that's for sure. Catwoman has horrible, horrible puns. And I hate them. So much. The whole episode is filled with puns and I hate it. What the hell is the black stuff at, at Riddler's mouth? Like, come on. This is the worst Riddler design I've ever seen. I do not like it. It is not good. <laughs> Everything in me is ancient. How did she get museum out of that? That is a really funny line. Okay, so Riddler's left uh, his location in a bunch of riddles. So yeah. So Riddler's hidden in the place that they were first were at. Oh, and they caught him. What? What? Do you know? This is actually super shocking to me, and I'm really surprised. Do they have superpowers in this? What? So now they're playing 20 questions. Because of course they are. It's generally not a smart idea to jump down the uh, the uh, holes you can't see the bottom of.
Detective Yin actually kicks some ass. Batman gets his ass kicked quite a bit in this show. I'm not gonna lie. Even Penguin managed to whoop him. And Yin just exposed herself. Expo oh, wait, he doesn't believe her. We didn't see Bruce Wayne at all last episode. Oh, Joker's out of jail again. I actually never get tired of this intro. That's how awesome it is. Is that I never once in my life have decided to skip through the intro. I skip through the credits all the time, but I've never decided I wanted to skip through the intro. Because I actually really like the intro. The intro gives off an eerie vibe is why I like it so much, like just the way that the music is done in that, it just gives off almost a silent vibe, like it's like silence would almost be better than the music, and the music makes it very creepy feeling and, and cinematic. Is Patrick Warburton in this show? That's awesome, also we get a clay face book, uh, Flashback. I swear to God, Patrick Warburton is in this. Oh my God! <laughs> I'll have to look in the credits. If it's Patrick Warburton, that's awesome because he's like one of my favorite voices. 